everyone, this is Danielle Little of The Cubicle Chick TV and TheCubicleChick.com. I am here to bring you a Working Mom Digest video called Four Ways to Create Boundaries in 2017. This video was inspired by a friend of mine who posted something on Facebook the other day and it was said something to the fact of uh, people were expecting her to be everything to everyone. And I commented to her that that's unhealthy. Like you should not be expected to be everything to everyone. That's not healthy. That's not realistic. That's not being a human being. And one of the ways that we can stop ourselves from trying to be that, to be everywhere, to be everything for everybody and not just to be ourselves. One of the ways that we can stop that is by exercising boundaries. Uh, it's an important ingredient in your overall work-life management, um, the health of your work-life management, the way that you balance your personal and your professional life. Boundaries go a long way and I'm a huge proponent of that. Um, boundaries can teach people how to treat you. Um, if you put out a certain boundary with someone someone at your workplace, once a behavior is uh, exhibited, then in the future, they know how to come at you when it comes to that behavior. When you set a certain boundary with your children or with your husband, then he knows or they know how uh, you are expected uh, or how you're going to react to that certain thing. So boundaries are just really, they're super, super important for me. Um, and being a work uh, a working parent advocate, it is very important. Uh, I tell all of my clients and I've written countless blog posts and even a book in my book, I talk about boundaries. It's just important. And I don't think that people utilize them enough. So I'm going to give you four ways that you can utilize, that you can create boundaries uh, in your everyday life, in your personal life, in your professional life, so that you can be the best you can be. Because you shouldn't be the best that everybody else wants you to be. You need to be the best you you can be so the first thing uh to create boundaries in 2017 if you haven't already is to designate work hours now if you're like me uh you may work from your home or a co-working spot or something like that and you may not have set hours but whatever those hours are you need to stay within those hours which means when you go home you you're not working or you don't work within a certain time so you have time to spend with your family. Um, my work hours typically during the day are usually from nine until three. And then I stop at three because my daughter gets home from school and then there's time with her, there's dinner, there's homework. And then if I do have more work to do, I'll start back around eight or nine when she's getting ready to go to bed and then I'll work. So I have designated work hours. Those are my boundaries. So if you email me during those designated work hours, you're going to get a response. If you email me outside of those designated work hours, you're not going to get a response. But this helps create a boundary for me so I can be present with my daughter. I can be present with my family. Uh, and I'm not just working all the time. So that's one way that you can create a boundary in 2017 is utilize designated work hours. And if those are not your work hours, don't work during them. Uh, your priorities are going to also come in handy with boundaries because it's going to teach you how to set those boundaries, what you put as a priority. My family is a priority. My daughter is a priority. So there's uh, things that will go by the wayside for those priorities. So the second thing, and speaking of priorities, the second thing you need to do is designate what those priorities are so you can set boundaries. Um, so if your priority is having the weekend to spend with your family, then don't schedule anything on the weekend that's not pertaining to those priorities. Um, if it's having a designated movie night with the family or sitting down at the table during dinner time, designate what those priorities are so you can set boundaries. So a boundary around a priority of maybe dinner time is not having your phones out. So that's a boundary, okay? When we eat dinner every day from 6 to 6.30, there's to be no cell phones at the table or no tablets at the table. Um, that your priority is the family dinner time. And then the boundary is no technology while at the table. So that's another way that you can exercise boundaries in 2017. The third way is no people pleasing. This is me. I am a people pleaser. Um, it's the Virgo in me. It's the perfectionist in me. It's the, you know, I guess I want um, to feel needed. Um, so I people please. And I have a, ha a horrible habit of that. And so um, 
This year, I'm saying no. No to people pleasing. That's a boundary of mine. So when I find myself going out of my way to please someone um, when I don't have to or when I don't need to, then my boundary mechanism is going to pump into place and I'm going to say no. The reason why is being a people pleaser can cause a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, because a lot of times we want to please the person. So we say yes, but we really don't want to do it. And so it creates this whole push and pull thing. And it just becomes un unhealthy. And it's just not good. So say no to people pleasing. That's a boundary that you should keep in 2017. And the fourth one, I'm going to make this fast, is teach people what to expect from you. That's a boundary. Uh, for instance, one of my one of my huge steadfast rules is that um, I don't text you after a certain time of the evening unless it's like important or I have to something that I really have to share with you. My phone goes on do not disturb at 1030. And unless you know, there's an emergency, you're not going to hear from me. And people have gotten used to that. So now they know, okay, if I text her after a certain time, she's not going to answer until the next morning. I've taught people what to expect. And so now it's not a surprise. So teaching people takes time. It's not going to be like overnight. They're going to learn. But if you stay steadfast and true to your boundaries while uplifting your priorities, you will have a much healthier and saner work-life management that will bode well for your personal and your professional life. For more tips and tools on work-life management, career, and more, visit the Cubicle Chick dot com and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the cubicle chick. I'm out.